Gusti Papi Kangui. Can you tell everyone welcome back to the weekly vlog? Sister's Jetchen, Mommy has five minutes left to work. And we're kind of done for the day. Let's see, you guys hungry? You guys hungry? Don't be sleepy boy. Got some curved snacks ready to go for our drive and his water. I'm gonna add some ice to this. I just let the pups out and saw I had a package from Ascot and Hart, which is one of my favorite places to get like trucker hats. And I wanted to get a new trucker hat for Supercross coming up just to have a new hat too. And I ended up getting this one, Yippee ki -yay. I will say it's really big. Like, and I hate that that has that little tag right there. So I have to cut that, which is fine. It's just like a little like cloth tag. I'm just going to cut it, but it doesn't fit my head without, like I already tried it on, without putting it past this, which I don't love, but I do like the color and I love the white. I love when they're white and half colored and that's like my favorite. I don't know. I'm going to have to try this on with like a, the outfit I'm thinking or like a cute outfit and see if I like it and dress it up. I do love Ascot and Heart. I wear have most of their hats um, or most of the hats I have, I have from them and I do love them. This one is more of a hard hat. They usually have the soft like foam trucker hats, but this one's hard and I knew it would be with the way that it's like the canvas at the top. So yeah, I'll link it below. I do like them. Before I put a t-shirt on because it's freaking hot but I'm like cold in my house when I work, I will say Scott's cousin, Brittany, is doing trucker hats now and I have one hat from her and I want to buy a couple others. There's like two on there I'm about to order. There's one that's green that has like the horse logo and it's the canvas on top, the tan. And I need to email her or text her actually to see if she has it in stock because I want it. So I will link her company below too because she has the cutest hats too and she's expanding her business um, and trying to come up with new ideas and have new trucker hats available. So I'll put her website below. I believe it's Ivory, hold on, Wild Ivory Co. So here's what it looks like. If it will focus. I have the Darling hat which is not on here. But like this one's so cute. Cowboy pillows, easy cowboy, long live cowgirls. And not all of them are cowgirl cowboy but win or lose for drinking she had some valentine's hats um badlands like so cute so she has a website i will link it below let me see if i can show you the one i want this is the one i want it's the dark green with the horse logo wild western horse is what she calls that one but that's the one i want to order so you got cruise man and we're getting ready to head over to it's monday i don't know if i even said that welcome back to the vlog we are getting ready to head to my grandparents' house to visit. We have not been over there in like a month, I think. Here you go, baby. Oh. You gonna go poop? No. <laughs> and catch up, really. And then we leave and we're gonna go home and cook dinner. We'll probably be home by five is my goal. It's almost four o'clock right now. So we need to head on over there and we're gonna visit for a little bit. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah, were you playing outside? Yeah, he looks so handsome today. He looks like a big boy when he wears cargo pants. Are you riding? Good job. Good High job. Five. High five. Yeah. Really? Oh, where are you coming to? That door's locked, baby. You'll have to go around the go front. Around. Good job. One more. Nana. What's next? Banana. Banana. We do ice. Oh, who is that? I'm home! Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Ready for school? 
Yeah. Let's go, dude. Can I have a kiss? Yeah, I love you. Have a great day. Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday. We are, well, it's just me. I'm going to get cruise right now. I'm trying to see if this UPS guy is going to turn in here. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to get cruise now. I'm off work. It's actually 4.10. It's a little later than I typically get him. I usually get him right at 3.30. Um, pretty much when I'm off, but I had to throw myself together. My hair is so, so freaking greasy. Story of my life. Like, I don't know why I don't plan for these things and wash my hair like the night before when I have time. Then I'm in this predicament of trying to get ready when I look disgusting and don't have the time to wash my hair. So, here we are, another slick back bun. It's not my the best look I've had. It's got a few little bumps in there, but it will do. I put on some makeup. I actually used a new foundation. It's like a skin tint. Um, I think it's from Maybelline. I should probably put my seatbelt on. Hold on. Okay, the seatbelt is on and I'm gonna make this really quick, but I used a new skin tint. I don't know how I feel about it. I mixed it with my, like a bronzing, what, what's it called? Charlotte Tilbury bronzing, whatever it is, because it's a little too light. And I kind of knew that when I bought it because I they were out of the shade I had matched with online. But I wanted to try something that, I don't love foundation. I don't love full coverage. I do need it because I'm having acne like crazy due to like my hormonal infertility stuff. But I don't love full coverage foundation and I don't wear it enough so when I do get full coverage I face always always breaks out really really hard so I wanted something lighter I was using a skin tint from what's it called Morphe I think I think that's the one and I do like it but I just wanted to try something different because I'm almost out of that one and it is also a little lighter than what I need but I think I like it so far I'm gonna see how it wears the next couple hours you're headed to get cruise or I'm headed to get cruise and then we are headed to Gigi's birthday dinner. So today is grandma's birthday, which is Scott's grandma. And to the great grandkids, it's Gigi. So we're headed to her birthday. We're going to Sinclair's in Blue Springs just for dinner. And the whole family is meeting there and we're just really excited. So I'll take you along tonight to celebrate Gigi. And I threw on this like sweater vest, some baggy jeans. I will tell you I'm like the most uncomfortable Right now I'm so bloated, I just started my period, so ask me how fertility stuff's going. It's not going well. Um, so I'm just not feeling my greatest, but I will take you along tonight. So we're gonna go get a facial. Cruz is gonna play with daddy outside. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Boom. You backing up? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> There's something about a drive and a good coffee that will just put you in the best mood. Okay, maybe not the best mood, but Better than it has been. Happy Wednesday. I just got to my facial appointment and I'm gonna do a typical car chat waiting for my facial because I'm 15 minutes early and I only like to go in like five minutes early because I always have to pee because I always drink a beverage on my way here, whether it's coffee, a chug of water, anything. I've been kind of down in the dumps today. I, if you're following along on our fertility journey, I guess I can take these off. If you're following along on our fertility, journey I haven't really announced like on YouTube because I was trying to keep like little details to myself in case it stuck or I ended up pregnant but we did an IUI February 20th and today is actually the official test date if I were to be pregnant that it would show up and I started my period. I knew it was coming yesterday. I was having so many cramps, stomach issues, like I legit knew it was coming. And me and Scott had tested Sunday, this past Sunday, because Cruz spent the night at my mom's house on Saturday. And I was like, let's test together in the morning. Like there should be something there if I am pregnant. So it'd be fun to like 
be together while we test and why am I about to cry? It's like hitting me all of a sudden. I really have not cried so I don't know why this is coming. I'm gonna blame it on like my PMS hormones but okay Callie get it together. Um I won't lie I thought I was pregnant. Um the symptoms when you're taking progesterone which I think project I can't say that word you guys know that well you know what I mean the hormone um are very similar to when you're pregnant. You're very nauseous you're having stomach cramps and like movement you're um, nauseous was a big thing. You just feel like poop. Um, and I was feeling all of that. And to be honest, I don't remember feeling like that the last few times I did an IUI with Cruz, like obviously three years ago. So I don't remember for a reason, like it was forever ago. And I was like, I'm fucking pregnant. Like there's no way I'm not with how I'm feeling. So when I got a negative, I was really bummed, but I was telling Scott like the day before that, like, I think I'm not pregnant now. I don't know what it was, but something inside me was like, I'm, I'm not pregnant. I just know I'm not. I had tested a little early, tested like a few days before Scott and I tested and I saw a faint line when, so I tested, let's back up. I tested after the IUI because the trigger shot that I inject has HCG in it, which is the hormone that shows up on a pregnancy test. So I wanted to see it completely fade out. So I knew if I tested after that, that I was pregnant, not just the trigger shot. So I let it completely fade out, but I used another pregnancy test to test um, a few days before that Sunday, and I saw a faint line. And what I'm thinking it was, it was still the HCG from the trigger shot, well it had to have been. Um, it was just a different pregnancy test, like brand, so I think it was just picking it up differently, and I should have just used the ones that I was using previously. So I kind of got my hopes up and then I completely got my hopes down. Um, so Sunday I found out I wasn't. I was pretty bummed for a while. I was saying all sorts of negative things and Scott was like, trying to hype me up and being just the best hype man but I just couldn't see the good side of it but now it's fine and I don't know why I'm starting to cry because it's okay I've come to grips with it I'm on my period I'm very just irritable today I've had a headache all day I've had cramps all day so so bad I don't know what it is but that period after you do an IUI is like it's so heavy it's so miserable and I don't know if it's like just karma like by the way you're not pregnant coming at you but Besides the point, I have not been feeling good, but I took a quick shower. So cruise after school, after work. Scott got him because he got off just a tad early today. I got my favorite coffee because I was kind of holding back on caffeine a little bit the past couple weeks, just because if I was pregnant, uh, I'm still staying under my 200 milligrams. So if you ever see me like drinking an Alani or having a coffee in the same day, I am still staying under 200 milligrams. Not that you guys care, but they want you to act like you're pregnant with caffeine. Um, so the Alani's, I'm only drinking like half, if not a quarter of it so I am wasting them but I like that carbonation and that flavor so it is what it is that is what's happening I got my favorite coffee so I'm in a better mood I got to drive listen to music I was dancing we're just gonna be in a better mood I get to go home to my beautiful son and my beautiful husband and they're having a great time I keep getting like little videos of them playing outside riding their bikes um life is good so I'm done with my pity party this IUI was a fail that's okay. So I contacted my fertility clinic today and basically we'll just start over that I have not heard back yet. So there's a little update, but I'm getting a facial. When I get home, I must switch Scott. He has a hair appointment at 7.30. It's 5.30 now, almost 5.30. And I think I'll be home in time, which will be perfect. We'll switch spots and I'll do cruises, bath and bedtime routine. Scott's gonna get a haircut and then he's actually going to pick up, he'll come home, but then around 10 he's going back to like out in the world and going to the airport. He is picking up his friend Keith to come in town for a funeral. Um, actually the police officer who passed away in the shooting in by Fort Osage um, is a friend that Keith Scott's friend Keith, Dylan, and Scott used to run around with. So they're going to the visitation on, I think it's Thursday, so tomorrow. Um, so Keith is flying in town for that, which is so freaking sad. Um, just a really shitty situation. And I literally keep thinking about his wife and kids. He has two young kids. It's just awful, awful, awful. People are just so freaking awful. Chapstick so bad. Happy Wednesday if you're watching this. Happy whatever day it is. And I cannot wait to go home to my kid and my husband and just be thankful for what I have. Post facial glow and a little redness from popping.
I will fly. I'm laying in bed. I just got off work. It's 3 308. And I'm sitting here with Sissy Girl. I don't know if you can see her. There she is. And I think I'm going to read. My mom is getting cruised today. She texted me earlier this morning and asked to go pick him up to see him and play with him. I said, Of course, I have no plans. I kind of wanted to go to. Um, shoot what's it called the foot store the foot store what in the the shoe store by target blue springs is it famous footwear i think is what it is i really want a pair of like new balances or adidas or some type of everyday tennis shoe that's not like an athletic tennis shoe like i have a couple adidas that are like workout shoes i wear for like normal but i want a pair of like cute new balances that i can wear with cute outfits does that make sense like casual cute outfits and I don't have any other than my Vans. And I'm kind of just wanting something more cozy. Not that my Vans aren't cozy. But like, I don't know how to explain it. I just want a pair of cute, like everyday tennis shoes. And I'll show you the ones I'm wanting. But I just, it's rainy. I have no reason to get out since my mom is getting cruise. And I'll do that on a day that I'm already out. Like something like this. I don't know if you can see. But I want to try them on because I think I like them and I like the colors of them. The black and just like the classic cream white tannish color. But I want to try them on to make sure I like them because I'm kind of like they could be like old granny looking and I don't want that. But for now I'm going to curl up and read this book. It ends with us. Scott's at a work conference in Blue Springs. So he should be off soon and home soon. My mom's getting cruise. And we slept like crap last night. So, Scott went to pick up one of our friends, Keith, I think I explained, at like 10. Well, his flight got delayed till like 11.15 or something like that. It was a really long time. I kept checking it and telling Scott like, oh my god, it's delayed again. It's delayed again. And he was waiting in the parking lot. Um, So, he didn't get home till like, shoot, I don't even know. I was half asleep when he walked in. I want to say close to 1 o'clock. And then Cruz got up at 5, ready to rock and I don't sleep well when he's not here and I tossed and turned all night. Cruz woke up a couple times in the middle of the night kind of crying and then he put himself back to sleep. So overall just not a great night of sleep. I'm on my girl time. I just want to read this book and lay in bed. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. It's okay. <laughs> Whoa. Where do you think that one goes? Uh, Wow. wow! Are you so excited? A big good one! Ah. Get it, get it! 